Hi everyone, it's Lana here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new. In today's video, I wanna bring you some hairstyles in honor of the upcoming release of season three of Bridgerton. I loved season one, I loved season two with the Sharma sisters and I loved the spin-off series, Queen Charlotte. So I wanna put together some of my favorite hairstyles from across the previous seasons. Some of these hairstyles were done on curly hair, some of them weren't, but I'm gonna do them all as if they are curly hairstyles because I have naturally curly hair and I just think it's really important to showcase a range of different hairstyles on curly hair. I don't want to tweak my hair too much. I definitely don't want to use heat on my hair, which could end up damaging my curls. And this is also a nod to Shonda Rhimes, who I think did such an amazing job with inclusivity and diversity on the show. It's been so wonderful to see so many different people represented in period dramas. I've grown up loving period dramas, and this was really one of the first shows that I saw that featured actors that kind of looked like me, who had hair type like me. I hope that this gets you excited for season three as well. I went to a Bridgerton themed event last year and it was amazing so if you're going to something like that definitely drop that in the comment section below so that we can share the excitement. Whatever the case may be let's get into the hairstyles. This first hairstyle is inspired by Miss Edwina Sharma from season two and I'm doing this on freshly washed hair because I really want to be able to showcase those day one spirals and ringlets. So I'm gonna split my hair in half I tried actually to make this line quite neat and also I want to take the side sections from the bottom and take those up as well because those are going to hide the line in the final look. I don't want there to be any scalp on show so by taking these pieces from the bottom and bringing them up that's just going to ensure that it hides the line. So then with this top section, I'm quickly gonna separate a fringe. So I like to do this by taking a V shape at the front of my head and just clipping that away. Then I'm tying the top half above the lower half ponytail. So you see how by bringing up a piece from the bottom into this top ponytail, it kind of obscures any line that you might have instead of having a line going horizontally across the back of your head. So when I have this top ponytail, I'm going to do an inversion with this. So I make a hole above the ponytail and then I push my hair under and through the hole and I pull it all the way through so that there's no hair stuck in there. And then once it's all the way through, I'm just gonna pull that so it's nice and tight. And what this does, it creates a lot of volume in this top ponytail. So, so when we look at Miss Edwina's bun, it's very voluminous and dynamic. So I just wanted to find an easy way to create that kind of shape with all of that volume. So I decided that splitting the bun into two ponytails and then adding some volume with the inversion would be the easiest way. So with the lower half, I'm going to turn this into a bun just by wrapping it around and pinning it down. And then with the top half, I'm going to use bobby pins and I'm just going to take small sections and small clumps of curls and just start pinning those down in ways that I think look good. And I'm just trying to create a cohesive shape here. At this point, I decided to add the tiara so that I can see how it looks with the tiara on. And I'm just continuing to pin pieces of hair down. I decided that I really wanted to have that kind of perfect fringe that she has. So I'm gonna spray my fringe now with some water. This is a spray water bottle. They're really, really useful. And then I'm gonna take a jumbo flexi rod like this, and I'm gonna wrap my hair around this. I'm kind of letting my hair twist around itself as I'm twisting it into the flexi rod and I think that's going to give me that kind of Hollywood type curl that I want in the end. So once I've done that I'm just going to pinch the ends of the flexi rod down and I'm going to leave this to dry naturally and in the meantime I'm just going to do some finger curls with the pieces of hair that are framing my face. Really got to tidy those up so I just spray those down with water, wrap them around my finger in the direction that they would naturally curl in and that just gives me kind of perfect ringlets there on the side. So now we're just waiting for the flexi rod to dry. So once your flexi rod is completely dry, you can go ahead and take this out. Just be warned, if you are going to be using a heatless curling method like this, I recommend you either do this very early in the morning so that you're ready in time for the evening, or you will have to dry this with a hair dryer. There is always the option just to use a curling wand instead, but I did have to kind of blitz this with a hair dryer to get this done. And that is the Edwina Sharma hairstyle. I think this is so fun if you are going to a Bridgerton event or you need a costume or something like that. That. it's so fun to play with this period drama type of style so let me know if this was helpful in any way and let's move on to the next hairstyle 
This one is from Queen Charlotte. This one was worn by Queen Charlotte herself. It's the one that you see in all of the promo material for the shirt. And I just thought it was so nice and interesting. So I'm going to give it a go. Okay, so I'm starting this hairstyle on hair that's a little bit more puffed out than usual. Um, but that's okay because the ringlets aren't as much of a focus in this hairstyle. So first of all, I'm going to separate the hair at the front of my face. So this is pretty much going from the top of my head all the way down to the front of my ear and I don't want it any further back than that and that's quite important because we do need to fit the tiara on so just see right there that's how much hair I'm taking and I'm going to do that on both sides and then I'm going to tie this out of the way so that I can tie the back away so that it doesn't get in the way so once I have all of my sections I'm going to start on my rows so I'm starting on one side of my head and I'm going to split my hair in half I'm clipping away the parts that I'm not working on and for this section I'm going to divide this further into three rows so I'm going to start just by twisting this very neatly and tightly and then once I get to the end of the row I'm going to keep on twisting until it gets nice and tight and it eventually starts to buckle and starts twisting on itself and when it gets to that point I'm going to form a little loop or a bantu knot and I'm gonna pin that down. So I'm gonna keep on doing that with all the next rows. I'm trying to make sure that all of the rows are equal size and yeah I'm just gonna keep twisting them and then rolling them up into little loops or bantu knots whichever one works for you and then pinning them down and you might find that sometimes you need to crisscross the pins over just to make sure they stay in place. Um, and then I'm going to keep on going. I'm taking down the next section. Again, twisting them into rows. And I just keep twisting them until they start to fold up on themselves. And then I can create this little loop. I'm trying to make the loops a little bit more voluminous. Um, which was harder than I thought it would be. So some of them will achieve that just by looping. You might have to loop them a couple of times. And essentially create a kind of bantu knot. So I'm going to do that on all of the rows. So I have now 12 rows. And then I'm going to fill them in because if you have a look at the posters obviously this has been done on a wig the hair is very very thick you cannot see any scalp at all and because of that I just felt like my scalp was very obvious so I decided just to fill that in a little bit and whilst I am trying to do these hairstyles with my own hair texture I do love the volume that Queen Charlotte gets with hers so I'm going to try to recreate some of that using hair extensions these are from Curls Queen and I do apologize that they don't match at all but obviously if I were going to wear this out somewhere I would ensure that the extensions matched so I'm just rolling those up into a kind of bouffant and then I'm layering my hair over the top to hide it and that enables me to have a lot more volume up and around the crown when I have the tiara on so that's the look and obviously this looks very different than Queen Charlotte's iconic hairstyle and I'm so upset that my hair can't naturally do that but I have loved taking inspiration for this hairstyle I love the twists I love the knots and I think that this would be such an amazing hairstyle for anyone with type 4 hair type 3 hair who wants to do some kind of a period drama look a princess look a costume party or any kind of ball where you'll be wearing a tiara and you just want to stand out I think this would be amazing in the next hairstyle I'm starting from scratch again I'm going to take my hair and split it into two all the way down to the ends and then I'm going to tie one side off and I'm going to split one side into two and tie the bottom off because I only want to work with the top right now and I'm going to be making a braid so I did try to do this braid on dry hair and it was impossible with the tangles so I decided I needed to wet my hair down I'm using a spray bottle for this and I'm just brushing my hair out with a tangle teaser and then I'm going to go ahead and create a dutch braid so that means taking three pieces of hair and then braiding and every time that you take a piece of hair in just grab a piece from the outside and bring that in so I'm going to continue this braid all the way to the crown of my head. I won't take it any further than that and I just want to tie it off here. And I just want to redefine these curls because I've detangled them so I'm just spraying them again and applying some mousse. I'm running that through and brushing it through just to help define those curls again. And then I'm going to let down the rest of my hair on that side. And now that side is pretty much done so I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So this is one of Daphne Bridgerton's looks and she was famous for her little baby curls fringe. So I'm gonna make that. So I have these two little extension strands and I'm just gonna cut a piece from the bottom on each side and I'm gonna spray that so that 
I can literally just push that into my hair and that's my little baby curls fringe. I know it's not perfect but you know for a little costume, for a little bit of inspo, for a little bit of fun, I think this is great. So this is one of Daphne's kind of relaxed at home looks and I hope you like it. Okay, switching into a ball gown now and we are just going to turn Daphne's hairstyle into one that she wore at one of these balls that she went to. So I'm going to finish this braid, I'm going to take it all the way down to the ends and I'm going to do that on both sides and then I'm going to roll the rest of my hair into a bun and I'm going to pin this down. I don't want to tie it because that makes you really restricted on the shape of the bun and everything. When you pin it down you have so much more control of the shape and how it looks so that's why I'm doing that and then I'm going to take the braids and I'm going to wrap those around the bun and pin those down as well and when I'm done I'm going to add my tiara let me know in the comment section down below which one of these hairstyles was your favorite and was this video for inspiration like do you have an event coming up or were you just watching this for fun let me know that's going to be everything from me have an amazing week guys I'll see you in the next video bye yeah, yeah.